Yeah, g'day, this is Corey, and this is the Jurgs Cup build, the AR85 build, the Legacy build, the just let's go fucking mental build, get a bit wacky, and that's what I'm doing with these pickups. You certainly probably won't find pickups like this in this configuration anywhere else, but it was an idea, and that's how this build start. This build actually started with the idea of the neck, and then let's put some resin on some burl. Let's put too much resin on some burl. Let's fill in the sound holes and light them up. All this wacky shit just to. I don't know, go all out and try to impress people. So, hogging out material and then I pre hand grout. Which I thought I had templates for these, but. Obviously, I didn't. Anyway. So I'll do a bit of sanding. I'm guessing this is very funny because uh, it's been a while since I took this video because every time I thought I'd be like the uh, the after effects of that shit started fucking me over. So I did binding, I used this bearing bit that comes with laminate routers. And it works well, but to a only to a certain extent. You've got to have your router pointing a specific way, otherwise your channel's going to be too deep or too narrow. And um, that's what I found here. I, this is the first time I did it, but I ended up redoing the binding with the binding bit that I normally use. Um, I did that yesterday as of recording this voiceover. And the binding turned out a hell of a lot better. And I actually had binding break there because of the acetone and the, it's not even that sharp of a bend, it's just weird. Anywho, so um, there might be video of me binding something i can't remember if i recorded doing the channels but it's just using the router and the binding bit and then sticking binding down nothing too exciting So, with the way I slope the neck, the transition into where the neck pocket is, I like having this bit match the angle, this transition. And I bought this little sanding disc thing, thinking that it's going to be a miracle worker on that part. But I think mainly what I'm going to use this disc for is, I don't know if you heard a truck, but the truck just went by while I'm doing the voiceover. Anyway, um, 
the disc part of it. I think it's going to work a lot better in the drill press when I'm leveling out where I chamber. I think that's probably going to be the best application for it. So I end up just using the Shinto and then sanding it. And it turned out pretty cool. So my head gets in a lot of these shots and I normally zoom so you can't see it but this most of this video I didn't zoom in at all I don't know why probably because I can't be asked to be honest but anyway so I'm binding the neck pocket because what else do you do when you go a bit batshit crazy with some you bind the neck pocket and then you bind the pickup routes so that's what I ended up doing. I just used super glue on the neck pocket because I did try acetone and the binding ended up breaking with the acetone. So I don't know what the go is with that. Oh yeah, there's more things. 
turned to the top 2000, I went 322 2000 just because it's resin. If it was anything else, I'd only go 240 or 320. Anyway, catch you later. Oh, and today, as of recording, it has been two years since I've been cancer free, so yippee for me. It's a weird day. I was feeling guilt this time of last year, but I had a fair few battles last year too, so I'm happy to be here. I know some days, I know because I'm happy to be here, there's people probably not happy that I'm here, and the day probably sucks for other people too, for other reasons, so you can only do your best every day, so catch you all later.